we'll come back to this. I see dead people. So starting with the actual demoniacal fit page, this, what, four days ago, they revealed this and they say that it's coming soon. So this is a Super Saiyan Goku head sculpt that we hadn't heard about since like, who knows when, I wanna say September, October. Either way, uh, they reposted it. I, I posted a screenshot of the original render that they uh, showed off, but um, this was something unexpected. Not what people were looking for per se, but I'm assuming this is going to be not necessarily a full figure, even though I guess they could make it that. It'll be a kit, and they've done kits in the past before. They've done a Chosen Ones kit, which translates to Goku Black, because you know they can't actually use the real name. But either way, um, this was a interesting reveal. Some people have mixed feelings on a hair scalp. Other people are like, where is future Gohan? And I can't blame them, but that's that's really touch and go at this point. Who knows? They, they're clearly not ignoring all the questions about it at this point. But let's move forward. Just beyond the event horizon. Now we dealing with black hole toys and oh boy. <laughs> oh, we got a lot to talk about. A whole lot. But let's start off with the least exciting stuff, right? We got a repaint of that Ultra Instinct Goku with the different head sculpts and whatnot. Um, dark, darkum, uh, more saturated orange, darker blues, much more pale hair. So if you want to pick this up, go ahead, you can. Um, where you could pick it up? AliExpress. <laughs> Haven't seen it on 5K Toys or anything like that, but I'm sure if you go on AliExpress, you'll see plenty of shops that are selling this. But, with that being said, we got this out the way. Let's get on to the excitement stuff. So another thing that Black Hole Toys showed off was this Go- uh, I was about to say Gohan. Vegeta head sculpt and seems to be a kit for, you know, regular Vegeta and Majin Vegeta. Now, as we can see right here, it'll probably be, of course, the initial face place that they come with and then four extra for each. So we'll see how this turns out. This could be really good. It's already shaping up to be fairly nice right now but we'll see you know the tail of that tape so out of nowhere some days ago we got three brand new renders and first of all you as you can see super saiyan goku looks like he could be from the cell game it's not saying that he is especially since he comes with the interchangeable front head piece that's supposed to make it so he turns super saiyan 2 but we got this right OC Toys. We got this Future Gohan. <laughs> a character people have been fiending for. They couldn't stop asking about this particular character. And OC Toys slash Black Hole Toys, because they seem to be collaborating. Not even seems to be. They are collaborating. How do I know? Well, I put a screenshot of me asking them the question and them saying, yeah, this is a collaboration. So this is. This is wonderful. Now, what this means for Demonical Fat, I'm gonna get to in a little bit because I just wanted to go through the renders, but it seems like this particular future Gohan is gonna come with Super Saiyan head and a base head. Fair enough. And of course, your usual, usual assortment of hands and whatnot. And last but not least, a very, very saturated orange. Damn, that looks red. Um. Ultimate Gohan, you know, and easy enough, right? They all use the same outfit, just a matter of re readjusting the orange that they wear. But this has been incredible. Now, of course, people have been most excited for Future Gohan because that's just a popular character. How could you not be, right? But I wanted to take this time because I said I was going to revisit it to go back to the Demonical Fit post. Now, the reason why I wanted to come back to the demoniacal fit Future Gohan, as we can see on the screen, next to OC, the OC Toys and Black Hole Toys collaboration, is because initially, a few days ago, when that fan page, because I'm pretty sure that's a fan page, a demoniacal fit fan page, posted coming soon with the Future Gohan, as you saw in the beginning portion of the video, 
I was like, why did they randomly repost this? I ain't gonna lie. I was like, yo, they trolling. They trolling hard. <laughs> and it's messed up because people really spent their money. So <laughs> that's not something you don't be trolling about people's money. I mean, you can, but <laughs> you know, expect whatever happens to happen or that type of uh, disrespectful comments and whatnot. But either way, I thought it was for no reason, but I thought I was thinking about it. I was like, it's very funny that they revealed two things that OC Toys and Black Hole Toys happened to reveal, right? They showed off this future gone saying it's coming soon, trying to remind us, like, because it's coming soon. And then a few days later, we get an actual future gone that has a lot, probably has a more higher likelihood of coming out. Do I know that for sure? No. But I know Black Hole Toys, if Black Hole Toys is involved, then I can have a little bit of faith in terms of, you know, the QC being good and things of that nature. And the figure actually coming out, right? Because I remember when Black Hole Toys just came out of nowhere, they came out of nowhere and just dropped three releases. It was like the Jiren, the original Ultra Instinct Goku, and I think it was Bomo on the bike or something like that. They dropped those mad fast. And on top of that, Black Hole Toys is working with Taunton Art Toys. That's the ultimate fusion right there. But I say that to say, maybe they are preemptively, maybe they, who knows? We actually might get the Demon Alcool fit Future Gohan now, cause of this. And then also they happened to give us an update on that Super Saiyan Goku head sculpt, which they hadn't shown us in forever since December from what I can see. And then, you know, also in this set of releases, there's a Super Saiyan Goku being shown off. So it's very interesting how things are going and how things are turning out. Very interesting timing. That I, they, they got ahead of the curve real quick and this all of a sudden pops up. Or maybe this was in response to what Demon Alco Fit, Fit showed off. I'm, I'm making it seem like Demon Alco Fit knew beforehand, but maybe... They didn't know, they just happened to show those things off and OC Toys Slat and Black Oak Toys decided to show off their projects in response to Demon Uncle Fit. Who knows how it went? Third party is the Wild Wild West, remember that. But with that being said, let's move forward. So now we're on the Black Hole Toys Instagram page and I wanted to go through these in hand prototypes real quick. Not to look at the prototype because they clearly need some more work. Uh, Right, in terms of the paint job, but or the finishing color, but here, right here, we get a glimpse of it the Super Saiyan 2 Future Gohan, right? And I wanted to swipe through all of this real quick. Wind swept here for Super Saiyan Goku. And get right here. Alright, so here we have Super Saiyan Future Gohan with the robotic arm kit. And of course, the blood on the face. I'm not sure when this will come out, but you can bet. For sure that I'll keep you updated on it. And of course the Super Saiyan 2 hair sculpt right here. Now, when and if these will actually drop, which I'm assuming they will drop at some point, I don't know. But like I said, you can bet that I'll keep you updated on this. Cause um, this is gives me like straight out of what what is that? What's the fan Dragon Ball a new hope? fan manga, which is actually one of my favorite fan mangas. I think it's one of the best out there currently. But that's besides the point. Let's move forward. Now for OC Toys, this, of course, they revealed their Super Saiyan Goku. However, this one, as you can see, looks a little bit different in terms of the hair scope, right? I'm not sure what's going on here. If this was like a prototype initial design, or well, if this is supposed to be our own separate project, which would be kind of redundant. So that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We got the Super Saiyan 2 hair. And yet another, well, the same render as the first slide. But very interesting. Very interesting. I'm not sure what's going on with this uh, different hair scope. But with that being said, let's move forward. Do it yourself, you schmuck. So now we move on to TK underscore KKT and previously known as TK underscore DIY. Um, rebooted the name, but we getting update pictures on the Vegito kit that he came out with. He was the first 
well, the first at least of this wave of Vegito kits, you know, to really come out. Because, you know, of course, it's, people have done it in the past before, but like Demon Uncle Fit. But not in this particular section where it just seems to be a whole bunch of third parties working on a Vegito kit. Uh, but his particular Vegito kit seems to be more for the 2.0 mode, so that could be a little disappointing for those, you know, um, that might like this kit. But I'm sure there's a way. In fact, my good man Adrian has conversion pegs on his eBay, so if you're interested in that, I can put the link in the description uh, for that. But yeah, it's shaping up to look a lot. It looks a lot nicer than it previously did, and not a whole lot to say about it. I feel like it's just. I'm not gonna say it's been outclassed because I don't think it's been outclassed per se. I know the particular, like, specific frame that he's using for this particular head sculpt, but I don't know. It's stiff competition, is what I'm gonna say. Um, and he also says these are gonna ship soon, so. We'll see how it turns out ultimately, but let's move forward. The next project we have here is he's working on a Super Saiyan God Goku. It looks good, you know. He's he has a of course stern face or serious face, face getting dragged against the ice. So that's meant to go with Broly. <laughs> yo, my good man uh, Adrian, he was like, yo, this <laughs> Goku fused with gold back. And I couldn't unsee it, but it's from a particular uh, frame where Broly is swinging Goku around in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. But yeah, it's shaping up. It's looking pretty good. And with this being said, let's move on to the next thing because we're going, we might have to do some direct comparisons, you know? Air Studio bends into action. So literally out of nowhere. Air Studio. The studio that came out with that blue undershirt kit for the legendary Super Saiyan Goku shows off a Super Saiyan God head sculpt and it looks damn good. It looks damn good. Man, listen. I love this hair sculpt and I like I like the uh, TK one too, but I think I favor this one more cuz it's using it looks like he's referencing that Yuya Takahashi art style and I can't get enough of that art style for Dragon Ball Z, you know? And yeah, okay. Red God Breath, and <laughs> looks like Air is still in some titles from Re Re Customs. But like you, like I said before, we know how it goes in third party. So it's gonna transparent red is gonna come with these three face plates, and of course the God Binding hands, and that neck peg is looks like it's specifically for Kong Studio. You know to get that this hat onto that body and we're gonna look at some pictures on a kong studio body in a little bit but i want to go through the rest of the different variations of red got rose red right here okay different hand set of hands which is i hate that they did that but it is what it is you know and <laughs> another different set of hands solid red um so the previous one was rose red this is going to be solid red oh they have different Facial expressions too, so I guess that's more incentive to get them all. Really, I, I didn't, I didn't really wasn't peeping, but yeah, I guess that's more incentive to get them all. The most different one seems to be the solid red one, but yeah, these look damn good. But let's look at the head sculpts on, or this particular head sculpt on the body, see what it looked like. So here's the head sculpt all printed out and whatnot, and it looks good so far. Looking good up close. And if you look in the background, you can actually see the head sculpt's painted. Like it's not, we didn't get it fully yet, but here it is how the head sculpt looks on the actual mold. And it's looking really good. It's looking really good. What can I say? I can't wait to get even more pictures. But yeah, that'll do it for the Super Saiyan God stuff, at least from Air Studio. I hope to see more great stuff from them, you know? They cooking. HM Studio surfs into action. The other day, somebody asked me about somebody making, that somebody should make a base Gohan head with this Gohan figure. And long and behold, look, a third party is on it, HM Studios. And HM has been cooking. They, they joined the fray and they just 
you know, stri jumped straight into the deep end, just gone off. And these the base head sculpt look great. The Super Saiyan head sculpt looks great. What can I say? I'm looking forward. I'm really looking forward to this, and especially what's coming next. Look at this. That's a pretty good. That's a damn good face plate. I'm not. I'm, how do I feel? I'm not. I don't know how I feel about the tears, but. I guess how else would you do it? I guess you could sculpt it on instead of printing it on. I don't know. That's a that would be a preference call. But here we go. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan hair sculpt. Looking splendiferous. Immaculate. Man, listen. This is looking really good. Why not two of the same picture? That's, oh, that's a different studio. We'll get to that in a second, but this is looking amazing. I can't, but well, I can't hype it up enough. But as I always say, we won't know how good it actually is till we get it in hand. Cause you know, things could look good as a render. And then when stuff is printed out, all of a sudden the shit look kind of whack, <laughs> you know? So that being said, let's move forward. We still got two more things to go through. Worm Studio squirms into action. So Worm Studio, you know, the studio that was previously caught up in the controversy of copying. Um, oh, why am I blanking on his name? But copying a he head sculpt from another third party. Um, they shown off some Gohan head sculpts or faceplates rather. Now the thing about this is, my good man Burst, due to, due to him being the action figure investigator, he found another set of pictures with these faceplates, but it was posted by a different studio, a studio named Tigery. Now I've covered Tigery before, and they've done like these fat blue head sculpts, and it looks really good. And they've also the first thing project I think they've did was actually Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So I wonder if it's a collaboration or. If it's just them trying to, I don't know, maybe it's some type of mix up, but I'm assuming it's a collaboration because we just seen Black Hole Toys and OC Toys, they they, they are collaborating, confirmed. And, but we've also seen third parties copy from other third parties. So, hey, you never know. But for now, I'm just gonna assume it's not, it's nothing nefarious and it's most likely just a collaboration. But let's move on forward to the last thing. Beast. Last but certainly not least, we have my personal second favorite third party, second only to Taunts and Art Toys, Beast Deity. So now, of course, 5K Toys has updated us and shown us what these figures will look like, or at least the two versions that we hadn't completely seen. Now, of course, the Battle Damage Broly has the yellow hair which is super saturated i don't know they could have turned it they could have toned it down with the yellow a bit but of course you know not too bothered by that i think the I actually like the battle damage a lot for what it's worth and also the long hair version which is super saiyan 3 broly basically and as i suspected he's gonna come with the guy broly uh front uh hair front piece for the hair so now it's like i thought i thought maybe they would do that as its own separate figure but the way they did it makes sense to me because you know the super saiyan 2 goku and super saiyan 2 vegeta they have included front hair pieces well at least they've shown it if you paid attention with the uh figure but just to clarify for anybody that might be new yes you will get everything in here because i know and initial promo images, you know, people get worried because it's like, damn, I only see the animal heads. I don't see the Broly head. Like, what's going on? You're going to get everything if you order these figures. Now, that's another thing, right? Somebody's probably going to ask, where can I get this? At this point in time, you probably, you not, you can't get it from 5K Toys because it's sold out on 5K Toys. Um, and it probably won't be in stock until it actually ships, what they, which they said it ships next year in quarter one of quarter two if you don't know what quarter one and quarter two means a quarter is the first first quarter would be january february march second quarter would be april may june 
and so on. You keep on dividing up the, uh, the year that way as well. So August, September, August, September, wait, July, <laughs> I'm way off. July, August, September, that's quarter three. October, November, December, quarter four. So if you ever see, uh, oh, this, this company did bad in the first quarter. That's what that means, you know? But that being said, like these look great. Um, God Broly and this long haired version Broly basically comes with a little bit more because it has the God Broly faces to you know deal with. But if you got the original Broly where he has the green hair and the intact pants, I guess that's a, another extra set of face plates for the God Broly because he keeps his eyebrows unlike in Super Saiyan 3. But with that being said, let's move forward to the last thing. It'll be real quick. And last, but for some people might be least, you have the head sculpt kit that people, you know, protest so hard about. Yeah, well, they didn't protest for a kit. They wanted the original ha hair sculpt to be this, but these DD decided to release it as a kit, or they're deciding to release it as a kit. And as you can see, it says pre-orders will open later on. As vague as that is, as mad vague. Later on when? Later on this weekend? Later on this month? Well, this month is about to end, but later on, as in two weeks from now, like who knows? But as you can see, Omni God Broly, Omni God is from Mass Star Media's uh, Anime Wars. Of course, you have your standard green hair, which is that that's the ha hair sculpt that people wanted. Got the yellow hair, of course, and you got transparent hair, which they I refer to as Ultra Instinct. I was trying to advocate for Ultra Ego to be one of these hairs because I think thematically it fits Broly more you know destruction having your mind on destruction and things of that nature and just imagine how powerful he would be he's already abnormally strong and then you throw on the fact that every time he takes damage he powers up bruh and he already powers up it would be too much but either way um I think I'll probably end up doing the Ultra Ego custom myself. I'll just, I'll get two of the Super Saiyan 3s. And then I'll take the face plates from there. And then take one of these face plates and, I mean, one of these hair sculpts and just repaint it. But, that being said, this has been this third party roundup. It's been a whole lot. And it's one of the first roundups I felt like in a while that where we haven't covered something that was Thompson Art Toys related. But, all that being said, as usual, I'm eternally grateful for your support. Um, and until next time, this has been Bombastic Plastic. Stay fantastic.